Hi, it's Mike Stevenson here. In today's video, we're going to look at a use case for our um, API management and integration users using the business activity monitoring feature of um, Turbo 360. So the use case that I'm looking at here is in Turbo 360, I'm in the business activity monitoring module. And basically, I've built a, um, a scenario where I've got an API that gets called by a third party in my IT department, and it's this help desk ticket submission scenario. So with my API, the challenge is I've got support team and business users who are curious if a ticket's been submitted from our partner. So here, um, we can basically use Turbo 360 present in a user-friendly way to let um, people who aren't IT experts, who aren't Azure experts, see what's going on. So if you imagine I've got my API calls come into API management, we've got log and go to app insights, and there's a gold mine of data in those logs. But the problem is I can't democratize that log data to let the less experienced support operator or the business user do anything useful. So what we're going to look at in this video is um, when we transition from the support operator to the developer, how do you kind of um, go from Turbo 360 to the Azure portal? So we've put a pattern in place that makes that really simple. So if you imagine here, I've got a bunch of tickets that have been going through the system, and I want to maybe in this case, I'm going to search for one. So we'll look for ticket. So we'll look for this ticket number. So we do a quick search and we get a result back. So I can query based on different things I'm exposing in the grid. And if you saw my previous video here, we're basically um, exposing query fields from App Insights to be these queries we want to make it friendly for the user. I can then click on one of the records to see the details of it. So here I've chosen a couple of log events. So in this case for the back end log event, and for the request to see some additional info. And what I can do in Turbo 360, I can click here to see more info about what's going on. And in my query, I exposed a number of um, details about, you know, about this log event. So I've really just exposed just the ones that I think the support person might care about. So things like who was the user, which tells me which product was used to, um, to call the API. I've got things like the role instance. The one we've added down the bottom here is um, we've got the Azure portal URL. So what I've done in my KQL query is I've actually crafted a URL that I can expose in Turbo 360 here. So if I want to go, you know, think of Turbo 360 as like a layer on top of your solution to democratize the experience. But I want to go deeper now so I can just click on here this will pop open the Azure portal and it jumps straight into the query in um, App Insight. So I can see I've got my back end, my request and, and all that. So I can go start to dig around a little bit deeper if I need to. Now, the question is how do I create this? So in Turbo 360, we've got the transaction section over here. And in my transaction, this is where I build this, this designer. So I'm adding shapes. And in this case, I can edit a shape. And I've really just got this query here. So I'm just going to pull open a notepad um, to, to show people what this query looks like. So what we've got in the query, it, the top, we've just got a few input fields. So I'm going to share these queries in our documentation to make it easy for everybody. And I'm going to share um, input ID, resource group, um, subscription. So if you use the same query, you should just be able to change the values and the rest of it would be pretty usable. So here I've got a template for the URL that we need for App Insights. I'm going to have some lookup values here. And then I'm going to use the replace strings function. And I'm basically going to inject in subscription resource group in the app insights name. And then I'm going to do my query of the request object. 
I'm sorry, of the request table in App Insights, I'm going to format the full portal URL so I need to inject in things like the, the item IDs, the request, and then I need to project in a um, time. So I usually would query from the, within the last hour of when the request happened. And then we basically project out the fields that we need to display in the query. And then in Turbo 360, I basically just use this query in my shape when I'm putting it in the designer. So I've said it's an executing it app insights. Here's my query. I can map some fields down here. So I've chosen to map things like the duration, the timestamp, and I've used the um, success field to map the color. And really it's as simple as that. So now back on my um, back on my main grid, if I'm searching for anything. So I can see the, the requests we've run recently. You can click on one to look at more details. I can see the back end here if I want to have a look at what was logged on the back end event. I can see the front end event here, the request, and then again I've got my click through to the Azure portal. And really what we're doing is just that you know little bit of effort, 10 minutes it took me to set this demo up. I've now taken all that log data and I've made it much easier for people outside the development team to be able to use it and help support my solution. I can also do other things like in dashboards, I can create some views from these queries about what's going on. So things like how many tickets have been submitted or I can do some summarized queries if I need to. And hopefully Turbo 360 is just taking you to the next level, making those um, queries more usable and get more value from your log data.